Hello everyone, this is Harris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Shamoko Let's Play. We continue for episode 11 from turn 81 in the harvest season of 206. So last time we got to declare war on Bai Cao Cao along with Lady Wu and we had to deal with both of them now. But we also became the ruler of the south. We ranked up. So we need another position as a visor. And we're going to put Meng Huo here. He has the back, like the best background bonus we can get here. I think he also has the honest trait. Yep, 5% corruption, 2 points of public order, nothing else here. And we get 15 points of melee evasion for all Nama unit. That's the best we have. As for items, 10% experience, 10% trade. Everyone else stole all the good ones, so I guess we'll we'll take the 10% experience. And we don't need to boost his satisfaction anymore. Anything faction-wide that we can get? I don't think so. Yeah, we're going to need some better items. Uh, he can maybe change to... Uh, we're going to let him stay this. Give him authority here. We don't really need that much satisfaction. I guess he can keep his weapon. It's not a good one, but um, the animation on that's not terrible. All right, back to our wars. Uh, we are going to use this army, have them sail to the north, and sneak attack Tals Hall from a naval invasion. And we're going to march to get there a little quicker. It's still going to take multiple turns to get up north. In the meantime, we're going to send this army towards... This is not the fastest way, I guess. We'll park here. We'll come right behind. This army... Guess we're all going here. Alright, we're marching to Wuling. We're gonna watch him get back into his own territory. And we can sneak this one. Maybe we can sneak this one with the generals who can move a little bit faster and they can just come in as reinforcements and then we can just turn around afterwards. Might be better. Yeah, that's basically all we can do. We really need to get those reforms going. None. Hi. Let's get the spice market uh, for the port. Actually, why don't we do the green buildings first while we still have the Simon for two turns? We're going to be running out of diplomacy options soon. Okay, well, let's get the contract over with and uh, we'll see what we do next. They're probably going to pop down. She wants to become our vassal. It's not terrible. We know we can't annex them, so guarantee of autonomy is it's going to be fine. The problem are her vassals, which I think disappears if she becomes a vassal. Right, she only has five pieces of territory left. And none of the land are particularly lucrative. I might take this.
Let's see. Domin hates this because we have a treaty. Is it timing out the treaty ahead of time? We could wait a turn and get this done. One more turn, reject. She will still have this. They can't attack yet. I think it breaks all her vassals, and thus we can still fight them if we want. Oh, joining a coalition. Oh, we need to get mercenary calves in Shamukha's army? That's a particularly difficult one for us to get. It times out next turn, so yeah, if we'd done it early, we would have missed out on an item. We also would have missed out. Oh, that's an item that we can give to Mohor. I know we don't need the authority, but that's not a bad sword, so he can take that. I think this is Valon's territory. Oh, Lady Wu has more. So she has Kuai So Valon has very little. She has all of Kuai Zi. Valon has a piece of Linhai and maybe a piece of Northern Jianan, because that's not his capital. Anyways, um, we can take some more land since we haven't pieced out yet. Ooh, Cao Cao's right in front of us. Um, doesn't matter, we have two army here. Don't have to worry too much about this delegate. We're going to have to come out. Hmm, this is a little bit surprising for both of us. This way we have the option to retreat back, and then we also have this army behind. She's hit rank 7. Uh, because she has a burn trait, we're going to give her a little bit more cutting to match that. The ever-reaching. Yeah, if we ever wanted an ammo-based bonus uh, for the faction, we could have got it, but we don't want that. We're gonna start marching. We're fully healthy. We gotta, we gotta go. All right, made it back here. They're about to be gone. I can definitely reach, so that's good. War waiting, General. The army gets another 20% invasion. I mean, he is great. So, certainly we can get two mercenary calves very quickly into our army and unlock the next tier. Which has some decent one, but for now, I think we gotta turn around and do something else. Because we're in the water, we can't recruit. Is there anything that is... ...particularly useful for us? Guess not, we'll start over here then. We'll take the population growth, a bit underrated, given that we have population income as a thing. Yeah, didn't expect to bump into him so early, but his army's still not that great. We can retreat out of this. Not a terrible position to be in. I'm sure he's probably more surprised to bump into us than the other way around. If he has more armies, though, he might do something. I don't think he actually comes for this. Oh, he does. We're gonna back off. We have the numbers. There's no reason to 
over commit. Okay, Guo Jia's here. They, he didn't take this, so we can pile on to him next turn. Against Gongdu? Haha, <laughs> no. No, you're not our friend. We're gonna attack you very soon. If anything, Gongdu can pay me to fight you. They have better chance of just hopping into the water and try to sail for Ijo and claim a little bit of land. Alright, we have arrived. All former faction leaders are siblings of faction leaders. We'll come back to this. Cao Cao's going to get crushed. He's going to run, though. They didn't bring anything good. We're just dealing with militias here. Wang Long might have gone to Yijou looking at the positioning. Now, I can hop on and take this. Because we're still at war with them. But it doesn't really serve us any good. We're going to continue to go up here. I might take Danyang. If we're going to take something, we take something more lucrative. But it's hard to defend Danyang, that's for sure. With enemies both to the north and to the south. I'm going to commit to sailing up farther north. Not get tempted by the small targets. We could either land here or land here. This takes two turns. This probably takes three. So I think we'll go for this. We'll probably switch stance next turn as well. Alright, so that's the big fight. I'm gonna trespass. We're about to wipe his faction out. Doesn't matter. I kind of want him to reclaim this land so that I can take it, but I don't think they have the manpower to do so. But once that army is wiped, we can betray them instantly. And yeah, we'll wait. Ah, who should lead this army, actually? Does he have reach? He doesn't have reach, but he will have reach. So eventually. Now I feel like I have the food to go taller here, so let's at least level that up. Okay, and let's fight Tall Tall then. They already maxed their movement. Tall Tall's gonna run. The question is, can he run far enough? Because I don't think he can. So he gets wiped because he double retreated. We're going to fight this one. Yeah, quite the army here. So I guess the plan would be we push him to the edge of the Yangtze River. Oh, it's dark. Let's see. We're in the shadow of the mountains with the moonlight coming in. It's quite a map. Um, we have reinforcements, which we would like to use. I don't think we want to be in the tree line. I'm going to try to shift everyone to the right here. Fire is still not our friend. We are wearing the wrong type of armor for that. 
Oh, some some of us aren't even wearing armor, but still. Like we have Rattan armor, and we just we just burn a little too easy. Since they retreated twice, this is sort of an infinite battle time, so they have to come to us. Well, they don't have to, but they can't get away at this fight by waiting it out, so they eventually come fight. We'll get everyone together first. If they're smart, they would actually try to rush us. I guess it doesn't matter. With their unit quality, it's not going to matter. Where is the edge of the... Oh, we are at the edge of the map. We have a couple fire archers. We'll lay them out here. Yes, I realize we didn't recruit any spear units for these groups, but um, our axe units are just better. We have a front line of sorts. We have Nanjong units. Okay, let's slow down a little. Cavalry incoming. You're gonna maybe charge them. I could release the tigers on them. Are they using... Alright. Let's go. Tigers versus generals versus cavalry. Tigers really don't hit as hard anymore. But, uh, it does disrupts. And, uh, <laughs> I'll do good luck. Nibble him away. Uh, I really just want to get these guys in. Make them pull back here. Tiger is still harassing them. All right, let's see. I'll take you. The problem is after we take them, they're gonna get angry here. Let's give them a boost. Give him a boost. Go give a war. Send them in. Oh, they got the unbreakable going. Alright, we kind of gave you all the boosts we can. What we're going to do is we're going to dismount and go kill Tal Tal. Right after he dies. Yeah, we're not really microing our units. It's okay. We'll get the fire guy to go with us. As long as it touches the enemy general, it reduces their evasion as well. We don't have anything fast to chase down those guys. We have so many in reserve. Hit the units, not hit... Yeah, not the general. They're gonna heal. 
We're gonna kill Tossal first. Let him get angry. I think I can still beat him even after that. Tossal's gone. Alright, go kill that as well. Can we bring a fire guy? Yeah, you come with us. Uh, we have one fast unit in the elephant. Let's go. Flank back. Actually, we don't need the turtle. Just go. He's like, why are you guys making them more difficult? I'll come here for the boost. He should actually route if we just leave him alone. Alright, let everyone give him a tap and then we let him go. Alright, there we go. We're back, boss. Are you losing? Oops. Yeah, we kind of uh, did that to him. Is Xiao Yang going to bounce back? Oh, he will. I mean, just gotta kill him now as well. Everyone else is dead. Alright, let's not go into the burning forest. There's no reason to go do that. That should do it. They did retreat once, so the army is wiped. They're gonna get resummoned. We'll see where they resummon them. Yeah, that incompetence is showing. Oh, we picked up some generals. Um, I'm gonna let them live. Probably more generous than we had to, but it's fine. Like that army really can't bother us, and we'll take we'll take the rest of these. This one here, this one here. We want to get paid, either to fight them or to fight Cao Cao. It looks like Lady Lady was probably not a target going forward. So it looks like he's at war with Dong Min's faction, who is still alive. They have, they have a couple gate passes left. Do you still have cash? Uh, they have some cash. 100 something. A bit less. Maybe we just want this. Screw the money. Who else can we get a deal with? No one else. All right, unfortunately, he's the only taker. We can basically get the items from the mercenary treaty. I'll take his item. And that's it. A little bit of cash, maybe? No. Like, this is a thousand. Getting 90 for 20 turns, that's less. Well, it's more, but a thousand hundred. Essentially, we get paid from just the missions. And we get 2,000 per 
Uh, every there's going to be three events, and it's two thousand per event, I think. I could give Domin some land. I don't know why we would do that, but uh, we could. It's an option. Watch their fight. See if there's an opening. Poor guy. He was ready scarred, so he wasn't going to pick up anything here. It's totally fine. Yeah, we're not executing anyone because we want to recruit them eventually, fingers crossed. We need generals, and we are dry of our own recruitment pool. Uh, of course. The entire alliance, which... It's fine. Yes, we'll take down Zouyue as well. Gongsundul, sure, why not? Anyone else? Gaogan. I mean, he hates us. But, all, all the vassals. But this is a lot of trustworthiness of Alna as well. So we need an army in the south. When you get this done, resummon them. Yeah, every single vassal picking our vassal. And we get to defend our vassal against every single one of their vassals. Uh, Liu Bei as well. It's a lot cleaner without the vassals. Without us having a vassal, even. Hmm. Go down, join Slow Bay. We need generals. Oh, he, he likes his son. Any son you don't like, or is it opinion negative 100 for all of them? Yeah, we're highly respected. Look how much we support our allies in war. And it doesn't mean anything because we basically just are at war with everyone on the map. Oh, they lost it to a Yellow Turban Rebellion. It, 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 it looks like you guys are down on your luck. That's your capital. That's your. So, can I buy this from you first? This is cleaner. This is way cleaner. Because then we declare war on his last settlement and he gets wiped. What can we give him? We can give him food. Because after he's wiped, it doesn't matter. Because he's just gone. Uh, I, I'd rather not pay him. That money is never coming back. Um, territories, no. I guess it would have to come down to items. And then cash to make up the rest. We have cash. And then we just declare war. We have enough trustworthiness to balance it. <laughs> yeah, the food deal obviously is get torn up and then it's a little bit untrustworthiness there. Oh, can we not reach? How come? He might summon some unit there. His army got wiped, so it's over. 
Okay, we have some yellow turbans, which is friendly to us. Liu Bei is at war with us, unfortunately, so... That's gonna be tough. We're gonna need an army over here. Gonna have to send the army we have here back. We're gonna declare war against them as well. I know keeping them as a faction and trading with them, honestly, is probably more lucrative. But I just want to remove them from the picture. And then this army can be fighting to obey around the iron mine as well. Badul needs to be taken over. Oh, uh, we could have used this earlier. They're getting faction wipe. We need to get the items now. Okay, so from here... We'll take this. I don't know where Liu Bei's armies are, so I don't know. We saw Guo Jia earlier. Okay, so he's still there. Hmm. I have a feeling he's gonna run. Actually, we can't reach him. Now we're at war with pretty much everything in the south. Like Zhe Yue, Wang Long, all of them. So maybe we just land? It was kind of pointless to go north now. Hey, buddy. Funny to bump into you here. And we probably need to... Like, they're now in an alliance war. So I can't peace. I don't have enough characters. Yeah, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Ah, uh, he wants to night battle us. He doesn't win this. Where are the enemy? Oh, 
Yeah, they have fire arrows. We can't really fight in the forest. But we can charge out of the forest. I think that's probably the plan. They're burning themselves. Alright, we can quickly get rid of the cavalry. And then we can go behind and quickly wipe out the range, I think. Chase that down. I mean, it's not a great place for us to fight, and they have a lot of Qingzhou units, but... Don't think it's that bad. Alright, now we can go back. Need to flank out a little. Alright, Lady Ben's gonna go down. Okay, finish this around here, keep getting wider here. Alright, go kill the strategists. Send one over here. Alright, they're done. Close out here, full surround. Kill the strategists. Only one over here. Alright. I mean, they're done. Let's send a couple more over here. We get the other two generals back. Get that crossbow that's running around. Sent them some help. Army loss kicked in. There we go. Yeah, they can't take us. I don't know what they were thinking. Hmm, he didn't opt for defense, he opted for a fight on the open field. He has a garrison help. Okay.
Mm, we're gonna be patient here. I think the goal is to kill as many of their generals as possible. Assuming they're going to try to meet up with a reinforcement somewhere over here. Oh, they're just over here. They don't want to duel. Smart. We'll take a really wide front. They don't have a lot of range. They do have a lot of cavalry though. Well, we're gonna charge, we're gonna counter charge and then do a mixed roar, which is like 30 point of morale hit right away. I mean, they're the one who attacked us. They should be coming, marching over here. Yep, here they come. We're gonna charge the elephants at the corner unit there. I don't think they have a great answer for us. Okay, so we're gonna load up this side. The archers here. Close this side off. Gotta micro the elephants, or else they're wasted. Um, I think we can start roaring here. Then do another roar, at least we get this group going. I know they're, I know they're coming from the other side. Yeah, we're gonna lose some of the... Archers, but that's no big deal. Elephant, don't get cocked down. Charge out of there. Move, move, move! Through the infantry! Look at them lining up for a charge. Out of our way! Out of our way! Alright, we need to come back and help kill the generals. It's not just the cavalry now. I can actually kill him if I land the ability. Might be difficult to land it. Oh, we landed it. Okay, let's get this done. Cavalry is all finished off. Yeah, the fire unit is going to overwhelm them. The elephant? Ah, uh, we didn't get the micro here. Kind of stuck in there. Here, let me help them. Let's get the generals over here. Do you want to duel now? Yes, thank you. I mean, the elephant hasn't taken too much damage. You can still salvage this. Charge the infantry over. Hit the ones that are coming back. Grab some of this. Charge right in here. Roar. 
And then charge right in here. All this fire damage. And then here comes a couple slaps. And then charge into those archers. Elephants back in business. Help the archers out. It's gonna slap her. Can we get some help back here? One's enough. All right, crushed. Uh, we took some damage, but I think we'll be able to take the settlement a little bit easier now, rather than sieging that whole stack inside. They're still gonna go back in, and it's still gonna be a little bit difficult. Uh, we might just recruit her. It's because we desperately need generals. Let Huang Gai live. Ouch. Faction council event's gonna start hitting. But our court's pretty happy. Uh, so many faction council event. Zhengjiang got wiped, but Zhengjiang's not gonna be joining us. We are not gonna get any... Ooh, we got a gold one. Uh, we got the gold one, I guess. Only gonna get one of those. Can we at least finish wiping them out? Move them a little closer. Action wiped. They have the armor we gave them. They're all dressed so nicely. Okay, so this army needs to go back. Oh, Gongdu is helping us. Maybe we don't need to go back. Maybe we can go for this iron mine instead. Like, Liu Bei has some land, but maybe Gongdu can help us with that. Maybe we go this route. They're gonna get recalled, because we need to send them elsewhere. Our fresh recruits. Some of them have instant mustering units, which is going to be helpful. We're going to keep the cavalry. It's better than anything we can recruit. And then... Hmm, what do we want to use? Our income is a little bit stretched. Alright, we'll go wolf packs. I'm gonna go negative income, it's gonna be fine. We can defend this. Ah, I was hoping for a delegate win, so we don't have to siege. We'll continue the siege for now. We'll resolve it probably next episode. Wojia's on the run. We don't have anything to siege instantly. So we can't take Yujang just like that. We're going to try to take that from Cao Cao before he rebuilds too much. Oh, Qin Yu Lu. 
How do you like the fact your wife is uh, being taken by Cao Cao there? Uh, we're gonna just lead the siege here. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait a turn. I think keeping this army weak on the field is better than letting them resummon a new one. So we're gonna just pile on over there. Oh, they're hoping for a faction wipe. We'll give it to them. Yep, Shizia is gone. Once we take that, we can do that. These two aren't... We're going to need more help. We can run negative economy right now. It's not a big deal. The main problem is the fact that we ended up losing a lot of trade partners. So our income took a big hit. Tsao is only a single faction we can piece out of. Everyone else is alliance, which is rather bad. It's not like we're just at war with the giant you know, vassal lord, but also his alliance of Wang Quan, Yuan Shu, and Han Fu, and Lady Wu. And they absolutely despise us. Let's hope this uh, this stays, because he, he just does not like us as we fight Han factions. He forgets his roots. Hmm. I'm going to have them attack Badu, I think. They have the elephant. They better use it. And then they can go and take this. Or maybe we just leave them to take care of this just because they're here as well. So it should, it should be relatively safe. We need more help on this side. A resummon would be good. We don't have to... Delete any units, even. We can just re redeploy them. Yeah, let's do that, actually. We'll summon them... Maybe even here, after we take... Quasi here. So we're going to end the episode here, we'll come back, fight the siege battle, shouldn't be that hard, and then we'll pump out armies in the south here, and then have both of them take, one take a coastal route, one takes the interior route, and we'll wipe out Lady Wu first, as well as the minor clans on this side. We'll probably have to go here and clean up, I, I have a feeling that Wang Long has some um, land there. There is a chance that he just sails by us and take on our points that's not defended, which is what we don't want to see happen, but we have no control over that. And we're going to probably pump out another... I'm probably going to throw the Han General with them and have this army fight for us. This should be easily resolved next turn. This should be easily resolved next turn before they get off the ground. And then we're just going to push in together this way. He'll grab this. They'll go towards Puyang. They, someone will go here and wipe out Dan Chiu's faction and then go south. Meet up with this army. They're going to sweep up the coast. And then we'll clean out this entire southern region and go from there. Uh, we should be able to take over the entire south. We're just going to be expecting a lot of schemes, a lot of faction councils every year. That's going to be what's slowing us down, and we'll see how that goes. So, until next time, bye!